type www.giftcardgranny.com. Pretty easy to use interface. You can see you can either buy or sell gift cards, and I'll get to that in a minute. What you want first want to do is see if a card you're interested in is available. So let's go ahead and type in Target. So we can see there's 513 cards available. Let's go ahead and hit buy. Scroll down. And it's very important here off to the right hand side some of the filters you can apply. Two of the biggies right here are physical gift card and online gift card. Now the difference is a physical gift card is something that you actually have to get in the mail. Uh, it's something you would either buy at the store or get in the mail. Uh, and obtain it that way. An online gift card is actually just a series of digits that are corresponding with a gift card's store value. So the great advantage of online gift cards is you can buy them and they get emailed to you which you can use right away. Physical gift cards you typically have to wait maybe a couple days from they get in the mail. So back to our listing of Target cards here, we see that there are 513 cards available. Now depending on the seller here, as you can see there's about you know, eight, nine of them or so, you may want to choose what the value is that you're looking for and you know maybe you don't like to buy stuff on eBay so you might want to uncheck that box which does limit your options a bit but you can see there's other reputable sellers here that will provide you the same discounted gift cards at maybe even a better value. What's very helpful here to see uh, what's available is to use these top level filters here. So if you click on price, you can see that you can buy a gift card for $1960 with a value of $2000. Now I wouldn't recommend doing that, but just to give you an idea that there are a wide variety of cards available. You can also sort by discount if that's more of your thing. And you can see you could save 6%, which on a $25 value gift card for $23.50 is $1.50 savings, but it still represents 6% savings. So you're starting to get the hint here that there are opportunities here to maximize your savings by using these gift cards. Now what I recommend you do if you're going to buy something online is that you get a good ballpark estimate of its final cost by using the card value here in order to sort out what you might be maximizing your cost with so you don't buy too much. Thanks for watching today and I'm going to come back with more tips on how to use these gift cards which there are many of them.